Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12 through 12.1.2 for A7 and A8 devices. Yes, Uncover has finally been updated to include support for older devices, which will function now on the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, the sixth generation iPod Touch, which I'm rocking right here, as well as the original iPad Air. All other devices, up to the iPhone 10 are also included with this jailbreak. So this tutorial will function for you guys as well. However, if you have a newer A12 device, which includes the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, as well as the 2018 iPad Pro models, unfortunately, you're not included just yet. However, Uncover will be updated shortly to include support for those latest devices. Down below in the description, below the download link for Uncover, for A7 through A11 devices, you'll actually find a status update checker page for A12 devices. So if you own one of the newer iPhone or iPad models I just mentioned, then be sure to visit that URL, bookmark it, and you can refresh it. It is dynamically updating. So when a new jailbreak is released for you, you will be first to actually see it there. Just like the link down below in the description for A7 and A8 devices. In fact, there's just going to be one link for this jailbreak tutorial, and it will include either an on-device or an on-computer method. In today's video, we're going to be utilizing the assistance of a computer. I much prefer this method. However, very soon, I'm also going to push out a tutorial to show you guys how to jailbreak just on your device. So be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, and check back. Once that video is released, it will also be in the description of this video, as well as in your card. So if you're watching this video at a later date, you might wanna check there if you're just interested in the on-device method. However, as I said, I prefer the on-computer method simply because it allows you to actually sign the application using your own Apple ID. You know exactly where it's coming from and you don't have to worry about any sort of funny business with the application or its signing and whether or not it's coming from an official source. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. Again, you will need a computer and you're also going to have to download a few things. All right, now let's get down to brass tacks when we're talking about downloads for this jailbreak. Again, I mentioned you are going to have to download a few things, one of which is the official Uncover IPA. So down below, like I said, there is going to be just one link. And once you click on that link, you're going to select the computer method. And on that post, you will find this download page here. It basically just walks you through exactly what you're going to wanna to do on the official Uncover GitHub page, but essentially you're just going to click where it says click here and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and download the latest version of the Uncover IPA. And you can see right here, as of recording this video, it is beta 40. So I'm just going to click right there. And now I have successfully downloaded that IPA. We're done with that. You're also going to need the latest version of iTunes as well as Cydia Impactor. Once you have all the download links required, again, which can be found below, you're just going to plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable, and then just launch iTunes. Now, iTunes should automatically recognize your device, as you can see mine does here. However, if it's the first time you're connecting your device, to the computer you're using, you're going to actually have to authenticate the connection. So on your device, it will ask you to tap trust. On the computer, it will ask you to click continue. Once you have essentially verified this connection, you can close out of iTunes. We're done with it for now. Now we're just about ready to actually perform the side loading of the jailbreak application. However, before we do that, it is paramount that you actually delete any pending OTA software updates your device may have automatically downloaded in the background. So to do that, just go to settings general, and then you're going to go to iPod touch storage. If you have an iPhone, it will say iPhone, iPad, iPad storage. So go ahead and tap right there. And if you have any OTA update, you're going to have to delete it. So it'll probably be something like iOS 12.1.4. And once you do, or once you see that rather, you're just going to tap it and you're going to tap on delete. And then it's best to reboot your device and verify that it is fully gone by going inside of settings general and then the iPod touch iPhone or iPad storage setting again. You need to delete any pending OTA updates. It should be toward the top because they do take up quite a bit, but you're going to wanna just scroll through to ensure that you don't have it at 
all. It is paramount that your device does not say it has any pending OTA updates installed because if you do, it will put you into a boot loop and force you into restoring, which of course will lock you out of jailbreaking. So that is very key. This is a first preliminary step you have to follow before you attempt to jailbreak. Okay, so once you have that deleted and everything downloaded and the connection verified between your device and your computer, you're just going to launch up Cydia Impactor. Now, this is a very simple interface and basically all you're going to wanna to do is just drag over the IPA that we downloaded, the Uncover IPA into the Cydia Impactor interface and you're going to log in using your Apple ID. Now, this is simply just going to pass your credentials along to Apple's own self-signing server to download a certificate to sign the application onto your device. None of your Apple ID credentials are actually stored. Again, it's just merely passed along. So you can rest assured that when you sign an app using Impactor, it just goes straight to Apple and nowhere else. Now, if you do happen to actually have two-factor authentication enabled, you're going to have to either create a fresh Apple ID, a link to do so will be on the post listed below, or you're going to have to enable application specific passwords and you're going to have to use one of those passwords but that's just Apple's own security precautions so I'm going to click through here to actually sign this app and you can see it's moving along nicely now and it's downloading the certificate and profile and everything and it's going to sign the application and put it onto my device right here the sixth generation iPod touch so once this process finishes, which shouldn't take too long, if Apple's servers are under heavy load though, it might take a little bit for you. You'll notice that we now have the Uncover application. We can't, however, open it just yet. So we're going to swipe over, go inside of settings, and then inside of settings, you're just going to want to go to general, and then you're going to scroll down to profiles and device management, and you're going to tap on your Apple ID under where it says developer app. Once you do, you're going to tap on trust, followed by trust again. And once you've done that, it should just be verified and you can press the home button and you can launch up the application. So here we go. The Uncover application is now open and this is where things get really, really easy, guys. All you have to do is tap on jailbreak. So it's running through the process here. You can actually see that it looks like it's about to reboot. All right, and here we go, it's up. I can go ahead and press the home button and I'm going to swipe on over and I'm going to launch up on cover again. Now this time I'm going to tap on jailbreak another time and it may actually take up to three separate attempts for this to work successfully. You also wanna make sure that your device is not going to sleep so that you have auto lock disabled or you just keep tapping the screen to wake it up. But you can see here that I'm getting a notice that the snapshot for the root FS or file system has been successfully renamed and that the device will now be restarted. So I can just go ahead and tap on okay to that. And now the device will reboot. It looks like the first portion of this jailbreak worked successfully. So let's go ahead and wait for this reboot. All right, so here we are. I'm going to press the home button to unlock again, and we're going to swipe on over, and we're going to load up on cover, and we're going to tap on jailbreak again. As I said, this can take up to three times, potentially even four, but it should work. Just keep reopening it and tapping on jailbreak. Now, I also wanna mention that every time you reboot your device, you're going to have to rerun a portion of the jailbreak. So you're just going to have to open up the Uncover application and tap on where it should say re-jailbreak at that point. And once you do that, it's going to patch the kernel, respring, and you should be able to use everything obtained from Cydia. However, prior to that, ensuing a reboot, you're going to actually have to rerun that application to use anything you've obtained with your jailbreak on your device. So I just wanna make that abundantly clear. Also, because we are self-signing, you will need to re-sign the Uncover application every seven days. However, if you don't reboot your device, it's something you really don't have to worry about. Otherwise, you're just going to have to re-follow the very simple steps I showed you guys. Just basically delete the application and then re-sideload it through Cydia Impactor. It's super easy. Again, just plug your device in, drag the IPA into Cydia Impactor, input your Apple ID credentials, and just let it do its thing. And then you can actually authenticate the application again inside of settings, 
And there you go. It's very simple. It takes probably less than three minutes altogether. All right, so you can see here that we now have a new notice saying that bootstrap has been successfully extracted and the device will now be restarted. So I'm going to tap on okay to that prompt. Okay, we are back up. I'm going to press the home button there. We're going to swipe over and we're going to load up on cover again. It got toward the end of the jailbreak process. However, we still need to rerun through this, at least until it does finish in its entirety. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion of the video up. All right, and there we go. As you can see, it did finish through all of those steps there at the end and the iPod Touch is just doing a final respring now. So let's go ahead and wait for that to complete. And here we are. Let's go ahead and press the home button and swipe over. As you can see, we now have Cydia. So I'm going to tap on Cydia to open it for the very first time here. On this iPod Touch, we are rocking iOS 12.1.1. I forgot to mention that. Of course, this does work all the way up to 12.1.2, like I said in the beginning of this video. And here you're going to see exactly what version I'm on. Again, 12.1.1. Once Cydia finishes, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to show you that it does in fact confirm that. So let's go ahead and wait. And now I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and get a close up for you guys. So Cydia confirms that this is an iPod Touch 7.1, that's the identifier for this sixth gen model, running iOS 12.1.1 with the latest version of Cydia. How awesome is that, guys? We are finally jailbroken on an older A8 device on iOS 12. I couldn't be more excited. Now we also have, I just wanted to show you here inside of changes, we also have all of the available packages. So you know that Cydia is functioning properly and we can install them if we so choose just by tapping into them. And then for updating, modify, then upgrade and confirm, or we could install a new one just by tapping on install. But that's just a quick example that you can actually install things inside of Cydia. However, if you want the top tweaks to actually install once jailbroken, then definitely check your cards as well as down below in the description. You can find our full top tweaks playlist. There are so many awesome tweaks that are updated for iOS 12 already, and that should get you started on your way. So I hope you guys liked this video. Just be sure to click the subscribe button if you have yet to, to be notified anytime we release new coverage concerning jailbreaking. And just be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.